Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, we are going to learn about connecting to uh, my Scavil server and image with Studio Code, and we will run some queries. So for that, we need an extension called Scavil Tool. So I'll come to this extension and see here. I will search for Scavil Tool and hit enter. Now the first one, we will install this. This is the author of this uh, tool. And this is the time of uh, downloads it has downloaded this time and this is the detail for this tool now it is installed so I'll close this and I will uh, close this now this button is added here so I'll click on this and add new connection now it is asking us uh, to uh, couldn't find uh, any installed driver for uh, my scale so we'll click on this now we will click on this first one and SQL tools my SQL MariaDB drivers it is by the same author and we will install this now it is installed as well so I'll uh, uh, close this and I will uh, close extensions now we want to connect to my SQL so I'll click on this my SQL and here I will give the connection name so I will name this test connection and now we need the database so uh, i want to connect to test db database but when we connect to this database uh, all the databases will be available now uh, the user is root and the password is uh, i'll give the password and uh, we will go down now i'll uh, uh, save the connection and uh, now I'll click on this connect now now you can see it is showing an error not supported authentication mode client does not support authentication protocol requested by the server so this new is server uh, uh, my scale server uh, add has new protocol authentication protocol uh, so this uh, root user is not supporting the old authentication protocol so we will create a new user with all authentication protocols that will accept our connection so for that we will go to this uh, uh, window explorer and i will expand this and now we'll go to this pc and uh, to the place where we installed our mysql so it is in this program files and i will go to the m section and now i'll go down and search for mysql so it is right here so I'll double click on this and uh, we'll click on this MySQL server and this bin and now I'll uh, use your CMD and now we have to uh, connect to uh, MySQL server so for that I will use MySQL dash or hyphen u root hyphen p and hit enter now it will ask us for the root uh, user password so i'll provide that and i will hit enter now we are connected to my scale so we will create a new user so to create a uh, new user creation i have copied the query into my text file so i'll copy this first the create user these queries will be available in the description of the video so i'll copy this and i will uh, paste it here and now I'll hit enter. Now, um, OK, and uh, it is successful. Now we will go here and we will grant all the privileges to this SQL user. So I'll uh, copy this. And now I'll uh, go um, here and now I'll control V it here. Now I'll hit enter. Now this is also uh, executed. Now we will flush all the uh, privileges. So I'll copy this, proceed this, and now I'll go here and control V it here, and now I'll hit enter. Now uh, we have provided all the privileges to this uh, SQL user. So now we will try to connect to this user. So I'll close this, I'll close this as well, and now we will go to our, uh, uh, so now if I click here, now the, I will delete this connection that we have created before. So I'll delete this. Yes. And now we will 
connect to my schedule again. So I'll uh, name this test connection and I'll provide the database name as test DB. And here I will use a uh, SQL user and uh, for the password, we will use the password that we have given this user. Now I'll close this. And now if I go down, I'll test the connection. Now connection successful. So I'll save the connection. Now the connection is saved. So I'll close this. Now if I come to this connection and now if I expand this, now you can see just DB is here and uh, this is another database. This is another one and this is another one. So now we will execute a query. So I'll use, uh, a, I will create another database. So I'll use create uh, database. And here I will name it uh, test VS code. So now if I execute this run on active connection, now you can see here it is not showing this uh, database. So I'll refresh this. Now you can see test VS code is right here. Now we will create a table inside this as we have uh, no table here. So I'll make this create a table and now uh, test VS code database dot then we will give the table name as a uh, test table and then we will provide the uh, column names. So I'll uh, use here uh, ID which is end comma then name war car and I will use 50 and then comma F name and I will use war car and then I will use the uh, uh, 50 as well and now we will execute this now if I run this now if I go here and refresh this and now if I you can see this test table is created right here with column end integer id name and f name so we can create uh, columns with uh, tables with it now we will query another database with this so i'll backspace this select now if, if i go to this test db so i have tables inside this uh, student table and we have some records inside this so select static from uh, test db dot uh, students and i'll put semicolon and now if i execute this by running on active connection now you can see all the record are fetched and shown here so in this way you can execute all the queries from here onto my schedule server so i think that's all for today i hope you like the video if you like the video please like subscribe and comment thank you